Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis. Today I have another BrickLink order. Uh, this one is another set without a box. This is the Lego Star Wars set number 9489. It's the uh, Troop Builder Pack with the Rebel Troopers and the Endor Scouts and uh, Stormtrooper. For those of you who have not shopped on uh, BrickLink before, these are private party sellers. Um, that are either selling um, extra sets they have or things that they've collected, resellers, whatever. Um, but sometimes, if you aren't concerned with the box, they will take the items out of the box and repackage them in an envelope or a smaller box or something like that, which can help you save on shipping. I didn't need the box, therefore I saved a little bit of money on shipping, and I just got the two bags of pieces and the instruction manual in a manila envelope rather than in a box. So that's that. All right, so here we have the Endor Rebel Trooper and Imperial Trooper Battle Pack. This set came out in 2012 with a retail price of about 12 US dollars. The set includes four minifigures, two Rebels, two Imperials, uh, a speeder bike, and a piece of terrain. Let's go ahead and take a look at each of these components one by one. Alright, first up we have the Imperial Stormtrooper. And this is a pretty good minifigure, uh, similar to others that we've seen before. It's got a nice uh, print on the torso, on front and back. Some good detailing with a couple of different gradients there, so uh, it's not just black and white, but there's a couple shades of gray in there as well. Um, nice helmet. Um, he's got a blaster rifle, medium blaster. But my favorite part about this figure is the head. I really like when they do this, the hooded head. You've got a face if you want it, but you don't see skin coming out underneath the helmet. This is the way that all stormtroopers, clone troopers, TIE fighter pilots, all of them should be, in my opinion. They should have this head. Yep, that's what I think. Alright, here we have the Imperial Scout Trooper. Uh, this one is also very well done. Uh, I think the Scout Trooper is probably my favorite out of all of the Imperial First Order uh, you know, Stormtrooper type figures. I really like this one. I always have since I first saw Return of the Jedi. Um, I really like this helmet design. Um, the print on the torso is good. He's got a sidearm, a little blaster, no print on the back. Um, but it's a good helmet, good basic torso print, and he also has the head that I really like. Another nice thing about this figure, by taking off the helmet and just flipping his head around backwards, you can put the helmet back on, and then he has his flash shield down, um, so kind of like wearing sunglasses. So it's a cool look, um, and it's the way they look in the movie. Um, but I like the fact that they give you the option to have either the goggles on or have his face showing through. And here's the first of our Rebel Troopers. He's got a nice torso print with a good belt and bandolier going across there. Uh, his face is pretty good. He looks like he's ready for action. He's holding a heavy blaster rifle. Um, print continues around the back. He's got a little bit of camouflage and the rest of the belt and bandolier there. Um, the helmet is pretty good as well. It's uh, Pretty well decorated, no alternate face for this guy, um, but uh, overall, pretty good figure, I think. Our second Rebel figure has the same helmet. Uh, he's carrying a pair of macro binoculars, and he has a sidearm. Um, I think his torso print is very nice. He's got some rank insignia on his vest. Um, print continues around the back. You can see he's got a little bit of a hood peeking out from behind his vest with some camouflage on it. Overall, pretty well done, I think. And here is the speeder bike. 
Um, this thing is pretty well done, I think. Um, probably my favorite of all of the speeder bikes that have come out before or since. Um, it's just a pretty good overall design and a really nice likeness of the uh, speeder bike from the films. Um, you've got a backpack piece on the rear of it. They're just using some snowmobile pieces there at the back uh, for skid plates, basically. Um, the handlebars are some black droid arms with the nozzle pieces as handles. Um, and the minifigure just stands right there in the middle. Um, there's the uh, kind of megaphone slash pistol piece in black there used as uh, exhaust, I guess. And then you've got the, the foils at the front for steering and navigation with the uh, blasters at the front. Just a really nice design and uh, not too wide, not too ornate as far as decoration. It's just very simple, very clean, um, very well done. The final element is this terrain piece. Uh, basically you have four quarter round plates uh, that are attached with a square uh, four by four brown plate. There's this little bar thing that I guess is supposed to be some kind of a barrier or something. There is a cannon that uh, has a flick fire missile. And in case you don't know, those work just by flicking, as the name implies. Um, just gives a little bit of cover to our rebel troopers with a brick built tree and uh, some simulated rocks or what have you. Um, Nothing terribly special, but it's nice to have a little something extra um, and something that is brick built that you can reconfigure in different ways if you're so inclined. So that's it. The Endor Rebel Trooper and Imperial Trooper Battle Pack. Uh, this has been Christian with Brick Life Crisis. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave us a like. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. And if you happen to have your own LEGO channel, leave the name of it in the comments below, and that way we can all come check it out. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, may the Force be with you. Bye for now.